Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a handgun showdown. It's been two years since I've done this and we're bringing it back. And this is a good one. We have Sig Sauer versus HK. And this is where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer as a whole makes the better handguns. And I've got three of each I'm going to show. So let's get to it. Let's start with Sig Sauer, and I am proud to feature my P226 Talo Exclusive ASC Alloy Stainless Elite. Beautiful P226 right here. It has the plus two base plate made by Mechar 18 round mags. It comes standard with a 15 round mag. Has that walnut grip, excellent. Trigger, the single action trigger breaks right around four pounds, but the reset, it's also an SRT short reset trigger. Check that out. Very short. It has the Sig Light Night Sights. Beautiful overall profile. Love this handgun. It has skyrocketed in value because Taylor Exclusive does not produce this anymore so it, it's really jumped up i remember i think i paid like 900 for it years ago but over here is the p320x compact and you may notice i have the gas pedal made by a line tactical and a raised and extended magazine release it has 15 round mags 3.6 inch barrel also night sights those are x-ray three night sights has the flat trigger Nice break. Has a soft strike, but it actually works. That soft strike, you'll you'll see that with the P365 as well. But it is optic ready. It doesn't look like it is, but it is because the optic installs a bit different. But a great handgun. It has always performed extremely well for me. And over here we've got the P365. A lot of people call this their carry gun. It has the X trigger on there which is a flat trigger 12 round mags in this and what SIG did with the P365 line and the way they expanded it has been impressive also x-ray 3 night sights subcompact the aftermarket X trigger on this model although it's become somewhat of a standard with the P365 and the P320 series but all these handguns have a huge line and I'm pretty happy with the ones that I have right here. Let's talk about HK. I have three HKs here. They're pretty much full size handguns. I've had so many HKs throughout the years, but this is what I have now. This is an HK VP9B. The B stands for push button. It doesn't have the trigger guard magazine release it has the push button magazine release i did that by choice but they have excellent ergonomics feels great in the hand very nice trigger pull and and i would compare that with a walther for the most part you know it, it's, it's phenomenal trigger pull love the vp9 has the luminescent three dot sights 17 round mags Performs like a champ. A lot of people love the VP9, and I, I do as well. Over here, we've got an HK45. 45 ACP, 4.46 inch barrel, 10 round magazines. Ambi controls with the slide stop and magazine release on the trigger guard there. Nice single action trigger pull. Also luminescent sights. Okay, basically what that is, is it has a glow in the dark effect to it so with the light and it, it has a night sight effect with light is charged has a decocker there also a thumb safety but a nice single action trigger pull it is a double action single action 45 acp handgun it has the forward serrations once again a nice grip 10 round magazines and i really enjoy this i'm i'm thrilled to have it had it for two or three years now and this is my latest hk acquisition and it is a usp expert chambered in nine millimeter it's clearly full size 5.2 inch barrel it's on a limited production this this one is same decocker effect and thumb safety effect 
but a great handgun has 15 round mags 18 round mags will work the hk usp expert has taller sights with that very short single action trigger pull a lot of people love this they also made it in 45 wish i had that but this is the nine millimeter and these are pretty expensive handguns hks are not cheap and these three are certainly a higher end price scale if you will if you had to choose on a manufacturer basis considering all the handguns that they have and their vast lines i will say sig sauer makes way more handguns than hk but people love hk they say you know those perform great longevity is amazing sig expensive as well i mentioned hk is expensive sigs are expensive especially this one but if you had to make a choice would you go with hk or would you go with sig sour i think these are two premier firearm manufacturers and they make great handguns and this is a handgun showdown you haven't seen it in a while on this channel but I certainly respect the viewers' opinions. Let me know. I look forward to hearing and reading your thoughts. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.